Hi guys, Janelle here from NellieBelly.com. I'm going to give you the feed burner version of how to change your from email address in your subscription feeds rather than your Mad Mimi or your MailChimp, which we've done those videos um, already. So if you are on Mad Mimi or MailChimp or perhaps you use them as well as FeedBurner, um, we have tutorials for that. If you don't know how to get your own domain email, which you are going to need, we have a video for that as well, so watch the, that if you need to. So you need to have a domain email to go forward. Once you have that, come back here to this one. This one's the feed burner RSS feed to change that. Now most of you know we are not fans of feed burner. We move everyone that we can to Mad Mimi or MailChimp. Feed burner is just full of problems. We have a lot of clients with problems, and a lot of times we don't even know how to help you. We just, it, FeedBurner doesn't have any help service, it doesn't have any uh, contact information, there's no one to talk to, and we just sometimes are at a loss as to what to tell you. So we really prefer Mad Mimi or MailChimp whenever possible. If, however, you are wanting to use RSS feed from FeedBurner, or you're currently using it and you're not having any problems, but with this new DMARC policy that requires you to have your domain email, you need to change that email. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do that. Uh, this is our feeds, our dashboard on our feed burner, and you can see we have very, very few subscribers. We actually had a weird little thing happen the last few days. We have dropped by hundreds on this number. We're not worried about it. It's a feed burner thing. They're kind of silly about that. So, but we're going to go into our feed. This is the feed we're going to we're going to go into. So you're going to click on that feed. You're going to enter your feed, what you're used to seeing, and you're going to get your dashboard, something like this. And you're going to want to go into this tab, Optimize. I'm wrong. There you go, Publicize. There we go. We want to be in the Publicize tab. And we're looking for this email subscriptions. And underneath the email subscriptions, you see these options. We want to be in the Communication Preferences. And right here is that email from. And we're simply going to take out that gmail.com address that we're not allowed to use any longer and we are going to put in our domain email address that we're going to use and then we're going to save it and it is as simple as that so you're going to go into your feed you're going to go into publicize underneath email subscriptions you're going to click on communication preferences and you're going to change that from address to the domain email address that you need to currently have okay good luck you guys